And we live. Blog Talk Radio. I live on Blog Talk Radio. I do not own the rights to the music playing in the background. They are that of oh, Tamela yeah. Lucas. We're and she's right here on Facebook. She has given me permission to play them. She Walk made it just in for purpose. me. Hey. Walking with Angela. Walking with purpose. Hey. We got talent from the Lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we here to show the world the talent that we have is here to change your world. We're walking in purpose. We're walking in purpose. We're walking with Angela. Walking with purpose. Showing the world all that we have. But God gave it to us. Come on, so come on, come on, Ian. She just don't So we are here to show the world. We're walking in purpose. We're walking in purpose, yeah. Walking with Angela to show the oh, world. Man, come on, man, come on, Good morning, good morning. I want to welcome you guys to the last Monday in February. Y'all, this month has truly, truly flew by. It is now almost over. Y'all, we got one more day in this month. And I tell you, I am super, super glad it is over. We are yet marching on in to our third month our third month, and we are marching in. I am so thankful for those that are a part of the 121 days of prayer. We went in prayer on February the 1st. Y'all, I tell you, God has truly been moving already, but I just come on here today, y'all. I just want to encourage someone because when it seems like you are right at the door of a breakthrough, just seem like things are getting ready to work out. It just seems like things are just going good. It seems like something just want to slap you in your face and want to knock you down. But I come to tell you right now, hold on. Keep the faith. Do not be moved because guess what? You already seek first the kingdom of heaven. You own your journey. You own this role. He brought you to this, y'all. He will see you through it. Keep aligning yourself with the word. Stay focused on the word. Continue to align yourself and position yourself with people, like-minded people. Y'all, and then be intentional about those things that you know he has called you to do. There are so many opportunities that's just floating around and we let them slip past us and we take things for granted. We act like we just promised tomorrow, when tomorrow is not promised us. We're not promised anything. So therefore, we have to take advantage of those things that he put right before us every single day. We can't keep making excuses and putting stuff out for tomorrow when we are living in the now. We're living right here in today. I want to motivate somebody to get up and do what God has called you to. He's told some of us to put that book out there. He told some of us to do a podcast. He told some of us to write for magazines. He told us to do a lot of things, yet we won't be obedient. 
Yet we think that we have time. We got time to say no to this, time to say no to that when he's called you to this. Y'all stop sitting down on his on, on his gifts and his talent that he placed in you. Y'all, we didn't just wake up with these with, with, with these gifts and these talents. He placed these things on the inside of us to bring him glory. Yeah, they will be for our good. They will help us prosper. They will help us get those things that we desire. But it's for his good. It's for, for people to see his goodness through you. I thank God for those that stand in the gap with me. I have to give a shout out to Pamela J. Hayes and Shaniria Osborne because they've been on this journey with me for three years. This is our third year doing 121 days of prayer. We've been able to produce two books out of that. We've been able to build relationships with people, friendships with people. And we've brought people together. Some of these people have never met before. Me and Pam have never met before. But Pam is like my big sister. And I tell you, the love that she has for other people and that, that genuine love, that, that, that agape love, that unconditional love. People can stab her in the back. People can criticize her. People can do all kinds of stuff. But she has that unconditional love, and she is genuine with it, y'all. It ain't no fake love. So, you know, God know what you need, when you need it, and how you need it. And I'm thankful because he allowed me to cross Pam's path. Me and Pam passed cross, and we were able to connect. And she's been able to teach me some things. When he dropped those three words in my spirit, learn, love, and lead, I was like, huh, who going to follow me? Who going to, what, what, with these three words? And then every day he would reveal something to me. See, we have to be still and know that God is who he said he is and he's going to do what he said he was going to do concerning you. Even when it's not on your time, because your time is not his time. He moved in eternity, and eternity is where we're trying to get to. Huh. Y'all, I'm telling you, man, man put us on these time schedules where we got to keep track of this and keep a track of this. God ain't got no, he ain't, he ain't no time. He come when he want to. He said, we've been doing for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Your joy could be at, at 6 o'clock in the afternoon. Your joy, your morning could be at seven o'clock in in in, in, the, in the morning. It could be seven o'clock in the afternoon. It can be whenever, whenever he comes. But it's always on time. Y'all, I'm so grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful that that, that <laughs> God saw fit, y'all, to bring me out of my mess. Because I'm telling you. I'm telling you, I was deep in some stuff, but I'm thankful that that one day he woke me up. He woke me up and gave me a second chance, gave me a second chance to educate, empower, and encourage someone through learning, loving, and leading. Y'all, some of us have been called to do so much, yet we allow fear. We allow people to put us in places that God didn't put us because the God that I serve is it, 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 it's not in a box. The God that I serve is bigger than this, this, this bigger than anything. I can't even imagine putting him in a box because when I look out and see all that he has, all of this belongs to him. So how can we put him in a box? Y'all, I'm just so grateful on today that he brought me out of my mess. And he saw fit for me to be able to do the things that I do, to have the platforms that I have. I, I, I'm just reminded of those that may be serving time behind prison walls and those that are wrongfully and overly incarcerated, those that are dealing with mental illness, those that are struggling right now. And when we look at our situation, you know, there's always someone doing worse than what we're doing. You know, the enemy, the enemy's job is to keep us distracted and to keep us caught up in, in, in material things and in the world things. So he don't want us to operate in the spirit because he knows that's where our power comes from. When we're connected and aligned and on one accord with God, that's when we see mountains move. 
That's when we see manifestation, materialization in, the, in his word coming to pass. In our life, and he's not he he's not slow, he's quick. So that person that's that's right there, don't give up. You right there, your breakthrough is right around the corner. You've endured. He saw your character. He 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 saw you. Don't give up. I don't care what it looked like in the natural. Stand on his word. Speak life to yourself. Because we have that power. He's given it, us that power over in Proverbs 18 and 21. He said we have the power to speak life of them. And I choose life. Because Genesis 2 and 7 say he breathed the breath of life into me. Therefore, I don't need CPR to get up every morning. I'm going to get up and I'm going to get out here and I'm going to do what he's called me to. I tell you. Your joy is coming because your morning is right around the corner. Just hold on to his unchanging hand. You got to hold fast to faith. When he dropped that word in my spirit and he broke it down to me, he said, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven. Align with my word. That means you got to go in that word. You got to study and show thyself approved. And then when you read the word, you not only got to read the word, you got to be a doer of that word. When you come into the knowledge and he reveals something to you, you can't no longer sit on it, y'all. That means you got to get up and do something about it. You got to move. You can't sit and be still. A lot of us sitting on stuff that God has delivered us from. He set us free. He's given us experiences. Those trials, those tribulations, and, 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 and those tests that you've been through. They didn't come to break you. They came to mold you and to mend you into who he created you from the creation of time. He knew what you could endure. He knew. So he only he only allowed us to go through what he knows we can endure. But when we go and through it, we don't understand it. But when we come up out of it, we can look back. And know that it was nobody but God on our side. And it was nobody but God that saw us through. Y'all, I'm grateful on today. And I can't say it enough. Good morning, Miss Harrison. How are you? God bless you. God bless you. I tell you, I want to thank those that are tuned in on Blog Talk Radio. I am also live on Facebook. So shout out to those that are on Blog Talk Radio this morning. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. I tell you, it's always a honor and a privilege to be able to come before you guys and to be able to share the things that God has laid on my heart. I tell you, I I, I was in prayer this morning, and um, it's just like... He just dropped in my spirit to just come on and just be of encouragement because there are so many people just, just giving up. There are so many people ready to throw in the towel when they write at their breakthrough. Y'all, the end of this month, March the 29th through the 31st, we're going to be in a conference. We're going to be having a virtual conference right here on um, streaming through Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. Y'all, the conference is entitled Empower Us. It is in celebration for my birthday. Every year, for the last three years, I have um, decided that it was not about me, that I wanted to be able to be a blessing to other people, and I wanted to be able to allow other people's light to shine and allow those things that God has done for, for them to be heard and seen so that other people can be able to see that it's not just it, 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 ain't, it ain't just me, but it's other people that's been going through some stuff and how other people overcame, too. Um, the first year, um, year before last, God allowed me the opportunity to um, connect and collaborate with 14 other individuals, queens. They We released this book, Broken to be Mended and Molded in His Image, From Brokenness to Heal. For my birthday, we had a book release and um, a, a celebration in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. This year, we're doing it virtually. It's going to be a three-day celebration. I have nine amazing speakers that's going to be coming on, sharing. They're going to be pouring. They're going to be sharing about reset, renew, and release because it's time for us to. God is getting ready to reset some things. Because a lot of us, some of us have gotten off track, but he's not going to start you all the way back over. He's going to reset you right where you are, but he's going to allow you to just, just take off from right there. 
And while he's doing that, he's renewing some things in our life because the word says we got to renew our mind and our heart daily. So he's, he's, he's taking this time to renew some of us. And then once he reset and renew us, he's going to release us so that we can go and do the things that he has called us to do. See, some of us, we're getting a second chance at this. We're getting a second chance to be about our father's business. We're getting a second chance to, to do those things that he's purposed us to do. Because he didn't drop us out of the sky. He strategically placed us here. He knew everything about us. Even before our parents met, he knew that they was going to meet and conceive us. Because it was a part of his plan. Genesis 2 and 7, Jeremiah 29 and 11, it was a part of the plan. He said in his word, he said, I declare that I have a plan for you to prosper you, for you to be in good health, for you to have hope and a future. His word is not returning to him, Lord. I don't care what choices you make because he gives us free will. And sometimes we make choices that is not in his will. But we have to suffer the consequences of those choices. But the father that we have, the God that we serve, he is so forgiving. And he gives us chance after chance after chance. All we got to do is repent and turn from those things. Huh. He'll reset you. He'll renew you. And he'll release you to be reinvented for this world so that he can get the glory. For your good, but for his glory. He just wants you to be, he, he just wants you to allow yourself to be used. So sometimes we got to move out of the way. We got to get this flesh out of the way so that we can come under his submission and be intentional about those things that he called us to. Because we got to understand that these tests, these trials, and these tribulations are going to come. Because that's the word. The word speaks all in the Bible. If you read your word and understand your word, it speaks all of that in the Bible. But he tells us faith. In Luke 1 and 37, he said, faith? Huh. He didn't say it was going to make it easy, but he said it was going to be possible. So you got to know that. That should tell you that things may come. Those weapons, they're going to come. That's the word. They're going to come, but guess what? They're not going to prosper. They're not going to prosper. And every tongue that rises, it shall be condemned. So I want you to remember that as you go throughout this week. Some of us may be facing things on this job. Some of us may be facing things in our personal life. Some of us may just have all kind of stuff just coming at us. But know that no matter what the devil in hell try to send your way, it will not prosper. I don't care what dart is thrown, it shall not prosper. It will be condemned in the name of Jesus. So I want you guys to be encouraged on today. I want you to know that God is yet moving whatever you're trusting him for. I just want you to trust the process. No matter what test, trial, or tribulation come your way, trust the process. Know that he's working it out. Know that he's touching lives, touching hearts. He's lining up every person that's supposed to be connected to whatever you're doing. There's people out there that's supposed to be pouring into your, your ministry because everything that he's placed in our lives is a ministry. Some of us call it a job, some of us call it a business, some of us call it this, but it's a ministry. Everything that we do, we should be bringing glory unto God. And his light should be shining through us. See, it should never be about us, but see, some of us get so caught up in this world that we forget about. It's not us. It's not us. It's, it's nothing about us, but it's the him on the inside of us. It's that spirit man that's on the inside of us. So I want y'all to be encouraged on today. I want y'all to know that all things are possible through him. And whatever you are believing him for today, hold on to his unchanging hand. By faith, you shall get there. He said, first seek the kingdom of heaven, align to his word, be intentional, trust the process, and hold on to his unchanging hand. It is by faith that you should get there. Y'all, I hope that something that I've shared on this morning has been a blessing to you that will help you get through this week. Y'all, it's the last Monday in February. Y'all, we're marching on into March. I'm grateful, yet we're in the third month. We're moving into the third month. And I, I'm happy about going into the third month because I'm reminded of the Trinity, the, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. And I truly believe that he's going to show up and show out in the lives of some people. Y'all, we're getting ready to go into... 
uh, Women's History Month, celebrating our women. I'm telling you, I've had the opportunity to highlight and showcase some amazing women inside our special edition of Aspiring Authors magazine. If you have not purchased your copy, I want you to go over and grab you a copy of that magazine. There are some amazing women that are creating and leaving a legacy. They are history. And we are black history 24-7. We are women's 24-7, 365 days. And we are black women 365 days, 24-7. So we are just giving individuals an opportunity to get to know some of these people that are right here amongst you that are doing some amazing things that are creating and leaving a legacy. So you have an opportunity to get to know them inside of this special edition. Not only that, you get an opportunity to connect with some amazing poets that are sharing their poetry about women and things dealing with women. We're getting ready to um, release our um, regular edition between the 20th and the 31st of this month, you still have opportunity. You still have time to get featured inside of that magazine if you would like to be featured inside of that magazine. If you are a poet and want to share um, a, a poem um, about women or anything empowering towards women, um, please reach out to me. Um, we also are going to be doing a special poetry edition, y'all. This year, we're doing it totally different. We're going to be giving some poets an opportunity to really utilize their talents, to really utilize their, 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 their voice, and to be seen and to gain some exposure. So this year, we are not only going to be doing the special edition of Aspiring Authors Magazine to honor our poets, but we're also going to be having a poetry showcase on April the 1st, which is my birthday and the kickoff of Poetry National Poetry Awareness Month. So um, that Saturday from 12 to 3 p.m., I'm going to be hosting a virtual um, poetry showcase. Um, I am looking to showcase as many poets that would like to stop in and share with us. Um, we are going to be highlighting 30 of those poets. Y'all, and guess what? It only costs you $33.33. You get a full-page feature inside of a magazine that normally sells for $125, and you're not going to go anyone, you know, anywhere else and get this price. Not only that, you get to participate in the virtual showcase that will air through um, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Facebook, and normally that ranges from $25 to $35, and there again, you're getting that. And the book, the um, feature inside of the magazine for only $33.33. But guess what? Guess what? The key could come in, y'all. So for the poets that, that sign up to be featured in the magazine and um, are part of the showcase, you are also nominated to be the poet or poetess of the year. And one person will wear that title. So then that one person will also have the opportunity to moderate our power in poetry, speaking from our soul group right here on Facebook, and they get the opportunity to write for Aspiring Office Magazine's Poetry Corner. That means you get to showcase your brand inside of the magazine, and you get to showcase other poets. That means you get an opportunity to network with other poets. And now you're a part of an amazing family because we're a family over here on my platform. I don't know how many of y'all really support the platform, but for those that really support the platform, you know that we are a family. We support each other. We talk to each other on the phone. Phone. We be having these little, these meetups on, on chats. We be doing all kind of stuff because we are truly a family, and some of us have never met, but we support each other. Y'all know I, I love to connect. I love to support. I, I, I love to be a part of platform. So I'm telling you, if you're out there and you have a platform that you are looking for guests to be a part of, um, please, myself, along with everybody over here on my crew, we would love to be a part of your shows. Um, our testimonies are amazing. We have books. We have a lot of stuff that we can really pour. We just believe in educating, empowering, and encouraging, and that's what we want to do. And we just want to be an outlet used by God. Um, so if you're out there and you have platforms, please reach out to me, Hezekiah uh, Morris, uh, Tamala Lucas. And Hezekiah on Facebook is Too Legit to Quit. Um, so if y'all are out there and y'all have these platforms and y'all need guests, um, y'all, we have a network of five hosts that um, – I'm telling you, they would love to showcase some of you guys, have some of you guys on their show, as well as be on your show. 
Um, this is what we do. So I am grateful. I am grateful. I am grateful for all of the opportunities that um, God continuously opened for us and, and continue to put us in a place where we can connect with other people. So y'all take advantage of these little opportunities that come by. I, I, I'm telling you, it is definitely worth the $33 investment or the $23 investment because you never know who you may come in contact with. Also, if you are interested in creating your own podcast, um, Hezekiah, Tamala, and myself, um, we are HTA Enterprise, and we have, right now, we have five amazing hosts that are already there. In, they're going into their third show. This is our season one, and we are looking for some more hosts. We're going to be starting our next training class on Wednesday. For those that would like to be a part, um, please join us. Come on and um, share and um, just allow your voice to be heard. It is an opportunity to allow your voice to be heard. Hey, Brother O, how you doing, Brother O? Brother O is the amazing individual, Odele Ngozi. I can't say his middle name. I'm not going to mess it up. But Big Brother O, and he is an amazing individual, y'all. He is over the station that I'm a part of over at the WBNN. For those that follow me know that I do a show called Walking in Purpose with Angela. Um, my next show is actually going to be March the 8th. So if you guys are available, please tune in March the 8th, 9.30 p.m. Y'all can call in at 516-453-9133. But guess what? Make sure that you press that one so that you can come and say, I'm telling you, I'm going to have some amazing guests um, stopping by. We're going to be honoring some amazing women because it is Women's History Month. So I'm going to have five amazing women that's going to stop by. They're going to be sharing their journey. They're going to be sharing um, what it is to be in a, a woman in the now, right now. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited um, just to be able to share their brand. So um, thank you guys for stopping by on this morning. I hope that there has been something that has encouraged you on today. I pray that this Monday is the best Monday of your life and that this week is the best week of your life. Know that if he brought you to it, he's going to see you through it. Trust and believe that. It's by faith that we are yet here. And remember, first seek ye the kingdom of heaven. A, align with the word. I, be intentional about the things that you know he's called you to. And T, trust the process. Because tests, trials, and tribulations are going to come. But he wants you to trust the process. And H, hold on to his unchanging hand. Y'all, he's not changing, but he's given us the opportunity to change and to be mended and molded into what he has called us to be. So, y'all, I love you guys. I pray that your day is blessed beyond what you can see. And I'm out. I love you. I love you. I love you. Please, if this has been a blessing to you, please share it with someone else. Y'all be blessed. Well, I thought I was going to be able to play the song, but it's not letting me play the song. So, y'all, guess what? Well, there you go now. <laughs> Teenagers that lost all hope and think there's no way out. Jesus is the way maker. He's the truth and he's the light. He saved my life. And if he did it for me, he can do it for you. I thank you, Lord, for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. But you did. Thank you, Jesus, for saving me. Hallelujah. Thank you. I thank you for saving me. Thank you, Jesus. 